The Triassic dinosaur, Coelophysis, was one of the earliest and most primitive dinosaurs. The ancient 20-ton rhinoceros, Indricotherium, was the largest land mammal to roam the Earth. Alphadon, a North American marsupial, first appeared about 80 million years ago. Early whales, porpoises, and dolphins, such as Kentriodon, may have evolved from bear-like animals called Mesonychids. Volcanic eruptions represent the way Earth constantly changes. Mammuthus, the ancestor of the elephant, ranged all over the world from Europe and Asia to North America. The six-foot-long dire wolf is the ancestor of the modern wolf. In the 1930s, scientists used slow-moving airplanes like this one to search for fossils from the air. A giant meteor which hit the Earth 65 million years ago may have caused the extinction of dinosaurs. Huge dragonflies with 31-inch wingspans lived during the Triassic period. Herbivores, or animals which eat plants, usually have flat ridge teeth designed for mashing and grinding. Although Chapel Melania looked like a bear, it was really related to the raccoon. Carnivores, or animals which eat meat, usually have sharp pointed teeth designed to tear and cut flesh. All dinosaurs probably laid eggs. Some dinosaurs may have cared for their young just as birds do today. A Daphosaurus had a large sail on its back. Eomanus, a scaly anteater, looked almost the same as modern ones found today in Africa and Southeast Asia. The eight-inch high ancestor of the horse, Hyracotherium, may have been dinner for the giant ground-dwelling bird, Diatrima gigantis. <coughs> Although Necrolema is related to modern lemurs, they looked more like monkeys. The giant Brachiosaurus had front legs which were longer than its back legs. Sometimes sandstorms swallowed up whole herds of dinosaurs. Over several thousand years, they turned into petrified fossils. Some scientists believe that Pachyrachis may be the ancestor of all snakes. Although bears are no longer found in Africa, the ancient bear, Agriotherium, lived there until about 10,000 years ago. <laughs> Prenocephaly, a swift eight-foot-long dinosaur with a thick skull, probably had large eyes and a very good sense of smell. The flying reptile, Sungaripterus, had comb-like teeth. The Chinese once thought that fossil bones were really bones of dragons. Did you know that Tyrannosaurus rex ate its own weight in meat every week? That's seven tons of meat, about the weight of 12 cows. Did you know that the giant moa birds didn't have wings? Did you
you know that if you have the height of a dinosaur's leg and the length of its stride, you can figure out how fast it ran. Paleontologists figure that T-Rex could move at 20 miles an hour. Woo! Hey, did you know that mammals were alive as long as the first dinosaurs? Dinosaurs get all the attention, but there were small mammals that lived then too. Fantastic, mate! You've proved you're one ace fossil finder. I can use that in one of my other exhibits, but I still need you to find a triceratops for me. Keep looking. Did you know that oviraptor eggs were the first dinosaur eggs ever discovered? In 1922, the famous paleontologist Roy Chapman Andrews, cool dude, found them on an expedition to the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. Did you know that when the Chinese first discovered fossil bones, they thought that they were dragons? Fantastic, mate! You've proved your... that in one of my other exhibits, but I still need you to find a mammothus for me. Keep looking. Early paleontologists thought that long-necked dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus must have lived underwater, sticking their long necks out of the water to breathe. Did you know that dinosaurs first appeared 225 million years ago? Fantastic, mate! You've proved your one ace fossil find. use that in one of my other exhibits, but I still need you to find a pterodactylus for me. Did you know that cockroaches have been around since the Carboniferous era? Yeah. Did you know that paleontologists use animals that are alive today to help them figure out what prehistoric creatures must have looked like and how they must have behaved? Fantastic, mate! You've proved your one act. Here's how it should look. I can use that in one of my other exhibits, but I still need you to find a Smilodon for me. Did you know that herds of dinosaurs once roamed the western part of the United States, just like the buffalo used to? Fantastic, mate! You've proved your one ace. I can use that in one of my other exhibits, but I still need you to find a Brachiosaurus for me. This Certificate of Achievement shows the prehistoric creatures that you've found so far. If you click on Done, you return to the tent interior. Parasaurolophus, Triceratops, Mammothus, Pterodactylus, Smilodon, Tyrannosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Velociraptor, Velociraptor, Congratulations! You've earned this Certificate of Achievement. Yay! Yay! You're a four-star fossil finder!